we are looking at the pulmonary tissue, which could be theoretically material uh, from the autopsy of the patient, uh, for example, with terminal AIDS or, or of any patient with a severe immunosuppression, for example, patients with organ transplant and so on. We can see multiple hemorrhagic areas here, some blood vessels, quite normal alveoli in this part. And if we go, if we go closer, we can find uh, some uh, hyaline membranes around the enlarged alveoli. And this hyaline membrane disease is a typical morphological hallmark of a diffuse alveolar uh, damage. So I have already done a video about ARDS and diffuse alveolar damage. So I recommend to watch it. And let's find out uh, what is uh, the cause of diffuse alveolar damage in this case. Sometimes it is really difficult to find, but here we are looking at the intranuclear inclusion, which is quite large, basophilic, it could be round to oval shaped, and it typically shows a halo around the, around the inclusion, and the nuclear membrane is then more prominent. So this is a typical appearance of the cytomegalovirus intranuclear inclusion. Here we very probably have another one. Cytomegalovirus can infect uh, multiple subtypes of the lung cells, including pneumocytes, endothelial cells, fibroblasts, and also macrophages. Sometimes we can also find intracytoplasmic viral inclusions, however, they are uh, smaller and much less prominent. CMV can infect multiple organs, but cytomegalovirus pneumonia is probably the most common. Severe cases can lead to diffuse alveolar damage, as we saw in this case. And uh, CMV pneumonia can be fatal in immunosuppressed patients. Thanks for watching.